Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. What makes us special? We got God's laws. Brother, you got a question right here? I'm, I'm bringing out some truth, man. What, what you, you got a question? I heard that the Bible was fake. The Bible is fake? How can you prove the Bible is fake? I can't prove that. That's what's going on what I heard. Okay, and we understand why people um, had these, had these, um, these, uh, these statements and these doubts. Because the, the truth of the Bible was not taught. The, the, uh, our people go to these Christian churches and we get, uh, to, uh, we, get uh, we get taught lies and, 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 and get taught falsehood. But they don't, they don't, they don't teach the truth according to the Bible that the so-called blacks and Hispanics are we are God's chosen people. Perfect. That alone will give us some encouragement. And our, and, 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 um, and our ancestors that go back to uh from King David and uh, Solomon and all the prophets, they are, they are so-called black men. If we knew that so much, man, we'll we have so much courage in ourselves. You know what I mean? Right, but we're gonna right. prove that to the to, What you got? What you gonna do? This is first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Oh, come on. Bring it out. Prove all things. And this is exactly what we come out here to do, man. We come to prove. All things, or anything that we say, we ain't gonna say it and not prove it. Read it from the top again. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Come on. Prove all things. We're gonna prove all things. And I said, I made the statement that the, um, our ancestors go back to King um, David, Solomon, uh, 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 from the prophets Ezekiel, uh, uh, ne uh, Nehemiah. All these people, they are so called black men. You believe that? Okay, we're gonna prove it, man. Let's, let's take it to the beginning. Go to Genesis 2 and 7. We're gonna take it to the beginning, man, because we out here on the. We are we here out here to give our people, people encouragement because we know we, we suffer from low self-esteem. And we hate ourselves. From our sisters uh, blinding their hair uh, and making their hair scrape. Oh, yeah. From our brothers uh, 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 want to be that, uh, somebody that they ain't. Thugs and killers. They ain't no thugs and killers. Man. They, they, we, we're from, uh, uh, from, right, exactly. You know, we come from um, a great people. We don't, we don't even know it. Like when you read Jeremiah, the most I say he had made us a very uh, good and delicate plant. But we, we came so low. Why can we just destroy it as a people? So right. Read what you got. So. This is Genesis chapter two, verse seven. Come on. The Lord, thy, the Lord God formed men of the dust of the ground. So this is the beginning. From the beginning, God said he made the men, the, the so-called men, black men. Because from the, from the dust of the ground, the deeper you go, the darker what? The darker it gets. So when, when God created Adam, Adam was a so-called black man. This, this, man, this will give you some encouragement. Like, man, hold on, man. I, I didn't know this was in the Bible. I didn't know that Adam was a so-called black I mean, I read it in the church, but they never gave me no understanding. Let's get some more. Oh, give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. What color are the Jews? Because I know we've been taught uh, that uh, the so-called Jews that's, that's in, um, in Israel, they call themselves Jews. They don't even really call themselves Jews, they call themselves Jewish. The right. suffix meaning to pertain to or want to be like. Right. They can't be us and they know they can't be us. Man, come on, read. It's Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. the real Jews, why do the Bible say this about the Jews? Come on. Judah mourner. Who? Judah mourner. It was a split in Israel when you read on um, um, First Kings. That these that um, the Judah morning, Judah, Judah is the, the southern king who represents Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They say them, them th three tribes are, are the real Jews who make up the Jews. They say we, they, these three are in the morning. How? Come on, read. In the gates they rough language. They say they are morning. But why are we on um, Judah all morning? Because we um we, we suffer from oppression. We get shot down in the streets and we don't get no um, make no ends meet. The uh, the other nations um put us to death. And we even put each other on the death by killing our own sons and daughters. Right. And with our, own, our own mothers and daughters don't cry because we um uh uh because uh, 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 blood is being shed by our own hands. And the other nations is putting us to death too. So we so we so we mourn and we sob sob about this stuff. They say Judah is in mourning, read. And the gates the rough labels. The gates is going to the leadership. When you um when you read about on the, the on the days of old, our, our leadership is um, uh, is language. We don't have no true leadership. Al Sharpton and all these other people that try to stand up for our people, they don't stand up for us for no righteousness. They stand, they, they stand up on what, what they want to stand up on, which is on falsehood. 
you, they, they come and want to uh, probably, probably preach to us and teach us, um, uh, try to give us words of encouragement, but it's not words of encouragement. It's nothing but oppression. They got to um, teach us what's thus said the Lord. This is why we're in the condition that we're in. Read, read the gates there are what? Well, the gates there are language. So we lack on um, leadership. Come on. They are black. The Jews are what? Black. The Bible just said the Jews, Judah is Judah mourning and they are black. The real Jews are black. Damn, no, they are right, right. the so-called uh, white men who call themselves Jews. They are not the real Jews. Right. You right. so-called Negroes, y'all are the real Jews. That's you African Americans, come on. They are black unto the ground. Uh -huh. Like we just read in Genesis two and seven, black unto the ground. The deeper you uh, uh, dig, the darker what? Yeah. The Jews are black, man. It's simple. It's simple as that. We gonna, gonna get some more. Oh, give me a uh, limitation. Four and eight. Yes, sir. Hey, check this out, bro, because you, you, you mentioned something. You said you think that the Bible's fake. What's your name, bro? Warren. Warren, I'm Ezra. Right. So what I'm going to show you, because a lot of our people think the same thing that you think. And that's what we fall at, because we feel, well, it's, white, it's a white man's book. Or we may feel, well, you know, they use this to, to enslave us. You know what I mean? Which, it's true. The Bible was used to keep us dark side, to keep us... Uh, from, from not rebelling. That's true. During this time. And still today. Because we got people like yourself saying, well, the Bible's, you know, I don't really believe in it because it's fake. It's been rewritten. It's yeah, been, there's yeah, too I many, too. there's too many uh, uh, different uh, Translation. uh, translations and things of that nature. Well, check this out, bro. I'm going to show you something. Read that. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Bring uh -huh. it out. Uh -huh. Whose possessors slay them? Whose what? Possessors slay them. Who possesses you? Who owns you? God owns me. Who's the person that makes laws against you? Who's the person that says that we can't congregate in, in, uh, uh, in masses? Who's the person that, uh, that puts us in mass incarceration? Who, who's that person? The government. The government? Who owns the government? Who runs the government? I don't know that part. You don't know that part? We keep reading. And hold themselves. Read it from the top. Zechariah 11 and 5, uh -huh. whose possessors slay them uh -huh. and hold themselves not guilty. Stop right there. So the scripture is saying whose possessors, the person that owns this people that it's talking about, which is God's chosen people, right? Whose possessors slay them. You know what slay means? To kill. Whose possessors kill them and hold themselves not guilty. Time and time again, are not black men, Hispanic men, Native American men being killed, shot down in the street? It, it's happening, right? They're being, they, they, they may get pulled over and asked to see their driver's license the second they go to grab their driver's license. What happened? They get slayed. Whose possessors slay them, but what happens when it comes to court? They need nothing unless you really want to get them. No justice, right? Right, right. That no justice, no peace, that's the scripture right here. Read it again. Zechariah 11 and 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessors slay them. They slay us down in the streets. Read. And hold themselves not guilty. But they don't get, they don't, they don't, uh, they're not guilty. When they go into a court of law, they get off. An early retirement right. or get moved to another district. Right. Things happen and you see it in the in the in the news every day. Does that does that clarify? The Bible is true. I'm gonna show you something else. Go to Deuteronomy. I'm gonna show you something. Because do you believe in what, what the sign says right here? That, you got a flyer? You get a flyer? I right, grab that flyer real quick. Let me ask you a question about that flyer. Because like I like 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 you said, you know, a lot of us feel that the Bible's untrue. It's untrue things in the Bible. But have, how many times have you read this Bible? The only two. I read the Bible for 20 years. So how can you say the book is fake? Because that's what everybody else is saying, right? That was the belief in my house. That was the belief in your house. Was this book ever read in your house? Well, yeah, my uncle was a preacher, but okay. I didn't even want to go to church. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to show you something. Do you believe on the top of that, what's the question? What's the, uh, what is the title? The truth about slavery. Do you know about slavery? A little bit about it. A little just, bit. You know, who was who was enslaved? I just read up on it. Blacks. Blacks, right? I'm gonna show you something. Verse 4. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. No, actually give me uh one and one. Check this out. 
Did you know that God had a chosen people? So God's chosen people is talked about in the Bible from the beginning to the end, okay? That same chosen people is being talked about right here in Deuteronomy. Check this out, bro. This is gonna be this is gonna be it's gonna weigh heavy on your mind. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses, you know who Moses is, right? He, he split the Red Sea. The God's chosen people were delivered through the sea, walked right through the ocean, right? These words that are being spoken of in Deuteronomy are being spoken by Moses. Moses is speaking just like how I'm speaking now. He's speaking to Israel, the same people that just got delivered. All the words in Deuteronomy. We're going to jump ahead and show you what they were saying. Jump, go ahead. 28, 15. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. What, we show, what I'm showing, sisters, what I'm showing the brother is that the Bible is a true book. Right. And that the slavery is in the Bible. Did y'all sisters know that? Yeah. Read. Verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, check this out, bro. Don't get don't don't get uh, uh distracted, bro. Moses said, at one part he says, if you keep God's laws, God said that he's gonna put you above all nations. But if you don't keep his laws, read. To observe to do all his commandments. And do all his commandments, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Out of all the nations of people, all the nations of people, just the nations of people that you see right here, who do you think is cursed the most? Us. Why you say that? I really don't have a belief in that, but um, you don't believe that we curse? I believe that we curse, but I brother, don't, check this out. I don't believe why we curse. You don't, you don't believe why I we curse. I raised out to have four of my cousins killed in front of me. Okay. From 1990 to 1994. Right. And that's why I left Tampa, went to Jamaica, went to my dad's home, and I recently came back to the U.S. five years ago. Okay. So check this out. So they had me sheltered from that stuff. So I they had you what? They had me sheltered from. Sheltered from what, yeah. what was going on. Yeah. So you. You have to know what's going on because you got to know that it's happening to your people. Right. I, I so check it. this out. A curse, I asked you what people are cursed right now. What people are majority strung out on drugs, filling the prison houses, sleeping homelessly outside in the, per, in the poorest condition? Who do you are nationality? Every nationality? Not everyone, but... Let me ask you this. You ever been to Wilmington Island? You ever been to any island on I went to Pua Island. Okay, who predominantly lives there? Whites and Jews. Okay, are they, are they in poor conditions? Hell no. Hell no, <laughs> right? Have you ever been down the street right over here? All in Savannah, Georgia? And any PJs or projects you ever been to? Oh yeah, I've been a couple of them. Is it poor conditions or they living good? Poor conditions. Good. Who's cursed, bro? Never. We cursed. Right. I'm gonna show now, you something. Read that. Only Read. Because curse shall that verse 16. Curse shall that be in the city. Remember now, God, God is uh, Moses is speaking to God's chosen people. He, he said you're gonna be cursed in every city that you live in if you don't keep my law. He's talking to a na nation of people, one nation of people, this nation of people right here, the nation of Israel. That's who he's talking to. Right, These people on this side. He said, listen, listen to this. He said, curse are you going to be in every city that you go to. Every city you go to in this entire world, in the ghetto, who do you find? In the slums, that's who you find. Forgiveness. It's huge. It's a war zone. That's how our communities look. Right, right. But what did he say up at the top? He said, if you don't keep my laws, that's how you gonna be. We keep reading. I'm gonna show you. Keep reading. Curse shall that be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall that be in the field. What field was that same people cursed in? Don't get distracted, bro. Don't get distracted. When the scriptures say that same people will be cursed in every city, and also that old, same people are gonna be cursed in the field. The old what is what is That's that? Christ what does that mean? Died for your sin. Huh? Don't get distracted, bro. He's not distracted. The scriptures say, read it again. Read it loud. Oh, oh, this is Deuteronomy oh. chapter 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Curse shall not be in the city. I'm going to tell you, look, I'm going to tell you something. 
That happens for a reason. Why? The scripture calls a certain nation of people the actual devil in the Bible. Bring it up. Right. Devil means to be de a, a deceiver. Right. So they're going to corrupt your mind according to their will. Right. But why is it that when you're receptive to something, you listening, like asking questions like, wait a minute, so the Bible might be true. But then just at that moment, you get distracted. Read that. This is Mark. Chapter 4, verse 14. Because the scriptures talks about all of that. Read. The sower soweth the word. So that's what I'm doing right now. A sower is like a farmer. He's sowing, he sows seed, right? In this case, no. it's, uh, the, scripture, the, the scriptures is like in uh, 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 parables and allegories, right? So he's saying the sower sows the word. So I'm the sower. I'm giving you the word. I'm sowing. I'm giving you the word, right? Read. And these are they by the wayside. Uh -huh. Where the word is sown, uh -huh. but but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. Who comes immediately? Satan cometh immediately. So now I'm sowing the word. You being receptive, you listening like man. I'm, uh, this this gotta be true. And who comes immediately? Satan cometh immediately. Just when you listening, Satan comes by to remove your attention. Right. right. The scripture talks about that all the time. Yesterday, my wife yesterday because she called me. Uh, you know, I got to house or whatever, so she her so bad yesterday, she kept calling my phone, I'm like, well, you know what that goes back into, brother? That goes back into this right here. That goes back into the mindset that we replaced it. We replaced it to hate one another, the man against the woman. The old against the young. Right. The light skin against the dark skin. Right. It's called divide and conquer. If you have a great nation, but you want to rule over and conquer them, you must divide them. Right. Somehow, some way. Give them religion. Give them different nationalities. Now you're going to be called Jamaican, right? Because you say you're from Jamaican, right? My dad's Jamaican. So your dad's Jamaican, right? So you're going to be called African American, West Indian Black, so Jamaican, uh, in that area. Uh, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban. Dominicans, no, that's different nationalities that we were given. Right. According to the Bible, these people have the same nationality. Right. Why it's so different? Like I just told you, dividing countries because we've fallen from keeping God's law. Right. 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 Deuteronomy chapter yeah. twenty-eight, verse fifteen. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Give me 37. So these curses are going to happen. This right here that was happening, it speaks about it in the curses. Read. Verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So when, when, when everybody else looks around, right, when they look at us as a nation of people, Looking like just look around real quick. You see how our brothers are sleeping in the park? Yeah. It's an astonishment. It's an and it's a it's a great amazement. Like wow, these these people supposedly are supposed to be above and high, but look at them now. Why have they fallen so so low? Keep reading. A proverb. A proverb. You know what a proverb is? A proverb is like a slander or a wise saying. You ever hear the uh, uh, wise saying saying uh? All Negroes like chicken and watermelon. You ever heard that? You've heard it, right? It's a what? It's a wise saying, right? Right. But right. it's a it's really a slander. Right. It's what it is. That's the scripture says that that same nation of people, this nation, which is all one nation, this these things are going to be said about them. He reading. And a byword. What you think a byword is? Because this is the question you ask. Why is it? This is a byword. American black, West Indian, Jamaican. Haitian, Chilean, Cuban, Dominican, those are my words. Those are outside of what God called them. Right. God called us Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Jesus, right. Simeon, Zebulun, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Naphtali. That's what he called us. Right. These are all different. These are 12 tribes from one nation of people. Right. Huh? It's only 12 tribes. It's only 12 tribes from one nation of people. This is, this is, this is, the, 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 the nation is Israel, and then you'll be from a certain tribe. Now you say your father was from uh, Jamaica, he's a Jama so-called Jamaican, right? So on this chart right here, you would be, you are with your father, whether you were born 
in Africa, whether you were born here, whether you were born in Mexico, you are the seed of your father. I was born in Alaska. So you were born in Alaska, right? You are still so-called Jamaican because that's what your father is, a West Indian. So you would be from a tribe of Benjamin, according to God, right? Because God, God goes according to the seed, right? So what? I'm gonna get back on to what what I was first showing you, saying the first foot, uh, first statement that I don't think the Bible is true. Uh, read uh, uh, 40, uh, 37 one more time. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt become an astonishment, yep. a proverb, and a byword. Our name, our thing, uh, we're gonna be called different things. Read. Among all nations. No matter what nation you go to, there's a name for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. There's bywords, there's pri proverbs, and anyone in any nation that you win, that we are looked upon as an astonishment. Right. Right. So these different things, you because you ask, why why are we why have we been given these things? These different these different uh names, right? Like we give it a title that we ain't earned though. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Bring it out. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. And, and the, the the fact that our names are not our true names that we originated from, right. that is a curse as well. That's right. The fact that we are called these different bywords, the fact that we still have names that are not even our names. You see what I mean? We were, you, you said you were given what title? I'm saying like, why didn't you give that title that you haven't earned yet? Titles like what, what do you mean? Like, uh, I heard back in the day, it's like how, uh, I mean, like inventors, like how they install stuff. When I go to look up on it, like there's a black picture, but there's a white man right there, like that's in the fourth one. Like, the that's that's the same. That's the same thing that's been done since the beginning. Right. I knew that. What do you think? You ever, you ever, uh, who, who was in this land first? I don't know, the Indians? I don't know. The so-called Native Americans, right? Yeah. So the so-called Native Americans were in this land first, right? Who came and took this land from them? The same as like you said. It's the, it's the same team, same people. The same people that said that you, that d d did what you're saying, it's the same people that did that to them. They did it to every other, every of these nations right here that have been in captivity, taken things that were theirs that have been taken from them. That all boils back down to being cursed. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.